emphasizing in this, this long break you've had between games? Yeah, we a lot of defense. We've done a lot of uh, shell stuff and just being better, more proactive defensively. We've been better in our man uh, talking. And then offensively, just making the easy pass, moving the ball a little bit better against the zone, and uh, working inside out uh, as we've tried to do, just to kind of be, be better with our skill level. What do you guys know about, about Miami? Yeah, one really great player, one of the best guards in the country, Osborne. She's scored almost 20 a game for four years. Really great shooter, made 93 pointers. And, you know, their team is uh, shoots the ball really well. Shot 35% from the three point line and 44% from the field. They shoot the ball extremely well. Very skilled team. And this is a, a team that's been coached by the same coach for quite some time. So yeah. that kind of continuity probably. Helps the team in, in yeah, and in they the have Mac seniors. Like you know, their top six, seven players are all seniors and juniors. So these are veteran kids that uh, you know expect to play well. What about having a home game, especially for some of those seniors. You know? Yeah, really great to be at home. You know, our community has been great. We've doubled our attendance, more than doubled the attendance from last year, and uh, had uh, in a Big Ten over 2,500 a game. So uh, it's been great to have the community come out. Hopefully, they'll come out and support us in the postseason. It's kind of the mental beat of this team. You know, obviously they expected to get in the NCAA tournament, get it, didn't get it, but, but yeah, no. they're very upbeat. We had our best practice of the year on Monday, and that's a really good sign. There's not a lot of teams that have great energy and great enthusiasm. We really did on Monday, and we were good today uh, as well. So it's uh, they're upbeat and they're positive. What do you need to get back to doing when the team was playing well early in the Big Ten? Yeah, I think the shooting. You know, we just didn't shoot the ball very well down the stretch, and I think that affected some of our energy level. Um, when you don't make threes, sometimes it affects, and so we got to get back to get, getting a few more kids making shots, um, do a better job taking care of the basketball, and just playing a little more energy. Have you mentioned to the team that, you know, since you're in this thing, you, you might as well, you know, take yeah, it as far just, as you can? You know, this is a great opportunity. Northwestern, Wisconsin, Ohio State, there's some teams not playing in the postseason. And um, so this is an opportunity for us to play in a postseason. You know, they haven't done that in the last couple of years. And, there's, you know, we got a chance to, you know, take it one game at a time and win some basketball games. Are there some aspects to your team, the way it plays, that, that you feel like could give you an advantage against them? Yeah, certainly the buzz is a weapon in the postseason because teams, it's hard to prepare for it. They have the first time they're seeing it. And so that you know that's an advantage for, uh, certainly, uh, the, you know how aggressive we play. Not a lot of teams are able to switch one through five. So you know we, we do some things differently than other teams, which I think helps in the postseason.